Okay, with these things in mind, we can go ahead. Let's move down to the base of the rock here. Back to burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. And of course, it's closer here, so it can be darker and more of its true color. Bring back some of it into this. We'll play with this more later, but for now, this is what we want. Okay, I'll clean my brush. Come back to, in this case, ultramarine blue with a touch of alizarin, a little purplish effect, this foreground swell here. Now, I'm going to be erasing my foam pattern lines, but I know where they are. That's real purple, isn't it? Okay, let's throw some green into that blue and uh, red, make it darker. Come up on this swell. Scrub in, right on across. And this will be more atmospheric in here, so I don't have to cover it all. True color here, true blue greens, touch of purple because there's dark rocks underneath. And then as we get further away, we have to start influencing it. We influence with the sunlight and the atmosphere, okay? Now the wave, this is strange. I one time was sitting my own show up in the coast of Oregon. And incidentally, that's where these tall rocks appear a lot is on the coast of Oregon. I was sitting in my own show way back in my salad years, and a lady came in and saw a painting that I had done similar to this, or at least similar colors, and she said, well, now that's, that's not the color of the sea. I said, well, I, I saw it that way. Um, you know, with certain effect, you get sunlight and atmosphere and so on. The, well, she says, I have never seen it that way. I said, uh, where do you live? She said, Kansas. I said, well, well, okay. And then I'll leave this area so it can be influenced by the sun. And over here, I don't mind allowing some of it to blend lightly with the rock behind because that shows that this mist is thin and you can see the rock behind. See that? That's like bringing a rock. This, you know, I think what I ought to do, I, I haven't shown you this on any of the lessons. I'm going to show you how to bring a rock into mist. Watch this. Ultramarine blue, burnt sienna is our rock color. Bring it down, good sharp edge here. But then as it moves in this way, watch what I'll do. Get the brush cleaner. Move it in and then phase it in to that mist. There, you see that? You see what's just happened? This rock, with its darkness here, fades right into the mistiness of this foam. And that's all you have to do is put down the foam first, then start with the rock and blend it in gradually. Then we'll play with little intricacies of it later. Now the atmosphere down in here can be much the same. Yeah. Oh boy, that does look terrible, doesn't it? Look at that tangerine peel in there. It's all right. We'll work on that. This gives me the basis for my painting, though. That is the underpaint, and that is the cake before we frost it, and so on. So the next step, then, is detailing, frosting on the cake, happy birthday, whatever we want to write on it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is use my varnish brush and start doing some blending. Take an edge like this. We already have established a rock edge back here, and we can knock it down a little bit so long as it still shows. But here, where the sunlight would be coming through, I'm going to knock that edge out completely. It doesn't kill the rock because you know there's a rock there. But we take out the edge on both of these, 
And now we have more of a glow effect. And I'll just keep that on down, bring it on down, just like that. And then later we'll influence it with sunlight. This little rock should have some blending away, too. There we go. Fade away, little fellow. This is called fading into the sunset. All right, now while I'm at it, just blend this across. What I'm doing here is not painting, but just knocking down the thick paint so when I come back over it with my detail work that I won't be picking up big globs of uh, wet paint. So just lightly brush everything over. And maybe a little bit on the rock. Okay, now we're ready to do some other things. Let's go first to our sunlight color with a number four. Like the brush knows what to do. It reminds me of a story. I was teaching one time up on the coast of Oregon and having some success at it, I guess, um, in my painting. And after I finished my demo, one of the students came up and offered to buy my brushes. I guess she thought that they knew more than her brushes. I didn't sell them. <laughs> I said, well, no, that's all right. They're not quite broken in yet. OK, this is the pure sunlight yellow now. This is cad yellow deep into white. Come right on down and hit this burst of foam. Right here and then blend it on into the shadow area that we already put in. Okay, then that will come across the top of the wave and we'll get a little brush and do more work in here later, but for now, that's probably plenty. There'll be a